right to the racks. Then I make that shit back. Run up on me, get shot in the back. Hey, Jerry, to me, the beauty feel VX Dark Gentleman, back another bad reaction today, Pops. We got a highly requested video. You got the most hated rapper in Philly. Rest in peace, YBC Duel. Life as Mr. Disrespectful, hood vlog. Shout out Brandon Buckingham. He has good hood vlogs and like Tommy G type vlogs. Oh, really? Word. He's a good doctor. Shout out Brandon. Guy. Brandon Buckingham, man. But yeah, man, this is a crazy story. I just found out too that YBC Duel passed yesterday and he dropped this vlog like a day before he passed. So it's like crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. It's unfortunate of uh, the violence. Uh, interesting because we had this on our schedule to do, and then he died. You yeah, that's wild. Crazy. Rest in peace to YBC. Do yeah. so. Let's hop into the story of him and shit like that. All right? Yeah, Any, anything talk. you want to say? Oh, if it's your first time tuning in, subscribe to the channel, request the content, and then we react. This is a beautiful channel because we cover content from all over the world, all right, from Europe to Florida to Cali to Canada, back to New York City. So subscribe, <laughs> request, and then we react. We have a Discord below, which is super lit. Or not. <laughs> it and, might not be. And then we have um, Jerry TV. Jerry TV on Instagram. Pop Scratch on Instagram. Follow us. Stop to a man. No more talking. Right now, there is a violent and bloody war going on in the streets of Philadelphia. Dozens of young men are being ruthlessly executed or going oh to jail God. for life in the city of brotherly love. And one of the most prominent figures at the center of this war is none other than YBC Duel, a rapper who reps the Young Bag Chasers Collective who has been given the nickname Mr. Disrespectful for a slew of antics such as digging up an enemy's grave in February of this year. No fucking tombstone, dig his fucking dirt up. Hey yo, where the fuck Connie at, yo? Connie, where the fuck you at? Ah! Yo, nah, what's that's wild. happening? If you if you digging up that's real life. Yeah, he didn't even have a tombstone. He was saying if you digging up random dirt. I mean, at this point, like you don't deserve to die, but come on, you asking for it. I, I don't. No one deserves to die. Yeah, that's what I feel. I like. just think that uh, sometimes. With the internet, people are always trying to outdo themselves, so right. people do a lot of the next level stuff. Yeah. And sometimes that puts you into a realm of no kind of coming back from it because uh, the new culture, the younger culture, and I don't want to preach too much, but the younger <laughs> culture is very disrespectful. Back in the day, someone get killed or die or something goes down in the hood, the person's dead, rest in peace, gone. Nobody talked about it, nothing. Now people die and people talking about the dead person. Going to their graves. And keeping like, their ops alive is to mentioning them. It's kind of just weird. Clearly, YBC Duel has taken mocking the dead on the internet to a whole nother level. But how did it get to nah, this point? Wild. Nobody wakes up in the morning and randomly decides to defile a gravesite. So to truly understand Duel, Philly's most hated rapper, let me provide some insight into how this all began. In 2017, BabyCon J100 came up with the name The Young Bag Chasers as a label for their collective that were getting money together in the streets. When you list out the most notable members of YBC and their synonymous subset YFA, a pattern of tragedy emerges. 19 of the 31 most prominent members are either dead or incarcerated. But oh for the God. first two years of YBC's existence, they mostly stuck. So like 70% of the crew locked up. Yeah. And it's kind of corrupt yeah. in so many levels because these young uh, men are programmed to go to jail. Like they're okay with it, yeah. So they they slip right in. So nineteen out of thirty one, with the other thirty one that close behind, like whatever. If I go to jail, or jail. Yeah, it's work. And then it's a corruption on the other side in the system because it's profitable. Lock a bunch of black dudes up, and let's make a whole lot of money. And I know a lot of people are gonna say you have a choice, but it's systematic and you don't have a choice if you don't know your choices. Ooh. Dominant members are either dead or incarcerated. But for the first two years of YBC's existence, they mostly stuck to getting money in the streets. It wasn't until the start of summer 2019 that the horrible cycle of violence first emerged. On May 29th, 2019 at 1.40 p.m. near 42nd Street and Mantua Avenue, Joshua David Munson, also known as YBC Josh, was gunned down in broad daylight as he walked down the sidewalk near his home. The gunman was never caught, and the pain that Josh's passing caused his friends in YBC had them wanting to get street justice for their fallen friend. 10 months later, YBC allegedly struck back. At around 5:10 oh, wow. p.m. in March of 2020, a 19-year-old man by the name of Nafik Hawkins, aka Buddy, was playing a game of pickup basketball near 62nd and Vine when he was struck multiple times in his legs and torso. He was oh, pronounced wow. dead 12 minutes later. Nobody on the oh, scene wow. was willing to give police a description of the shooter. But if you listen to the music of YBC Duel, you will hear him constantly disrespecting the passing of Buddy. Even in the first song that Duel released, you can hear him saying he is quote smoking Buddy out the motherfucking pound. 
I'm smoking buddy out the motherfucking pound. He hit right. And that is far from the only song that he mentions him in. Not long after the passing of Buddy, two YBC members were allegedly involved in a shootout near 38th Street. Multiple people were hit, one of which was named Sid from 39th Street. Sid survived his injuries, and since the streets have a no snitching policy, it wouldn't be long before Sid exacted his own form of justice. In September of 2020, Sid claimed that. to be responsible for the shooting of a man named BL. The man was shot in the head multiple times while he was riding his bike on the 900 block of Belmont Avenue around 9.30 p.m. He was pronounced dead on the scene. After this, YBC was out for blood. On January 16th, 2021, a 15 year old named Jaquan Williams, AKA Q Raw, was walking near 40th and Cambridge streets when two suspects shot him in the head as he was on his way to the store. YBC wow. claimed this killing by mocking him in their songs, calling him Q Rizzy instead of his name. They shot Q Rizzy from a block away. February 24th, we smoke Q Rizzy out the pound. YBC wanted to get- But I never heard of Philly like being known for smoking dads and like saying names. Like I think YBC Duel was one of like the first dudes to do that, right? Cause like, I never heard of nobody doing that before. Like. Uh, For Philly. I, it maybe, maybe, but I think right now everything's blurred because the internet all everybody if you wanna know what's going on in Jacksonville, you can go look at some of the videos we did. If you wanna know what's going on in LA, Chicago in, Inland Empire, Chicago, if you wanna know what's going on in Canada, we we cover all those videos, so it's all one big blur. Word. So, so even the slang, people using the same slang. Growing up in a city I was from the Bronx, people from Brooklyn talk different. You knew somebody was from Brooklyn by the way they talk. Now everybody talked the same, dressed the same, looked the same, smelled the same. Specifically <laughs> wanted to get vengeance on Sid. On March 18th, 2021, they were allegedly given false information that Sid was being released from prison that evening and mistakenly shot 20-year-old Rodney Hargrove near the prison around midnight, thinking that he was Sid. This That's accident bad. would not stop them. In May of 2021, they caught Sid outside his house and let off a barrage of shots, striking his six-year-old sister instead of him. It's disgusting yet again that I'm here speaking to you the about commissioner. Sid getting shot. Sid would survive the outlaw. incident and his family would move across town to Port Richmond to evade the violence, but still, his days were numbered. Around 8.15 p.m. on the 2900 block of Wykell Street in the city's Port Richmond section, two shooters approached Sid's house and fired eight shots into his home, striking him and his father. His dad survived, but 39th Street Sid passed away from his wounds. YBC member Curry was found hiding under a car on the scene, and he began firing at police, but was ultimately oh, nah. arrested and booked for the murder of Sid, as well as a previous murder. Sid, who all- How do you fire police and survive and, like, still alive? Like, Usually, yeah, they, you're New, New York City cops are the you want to survive, so or any of this. But city. Philly cops are corrupted. I had a I had a two experiences with Philadelphia cops. Mm. But it's kind of like, well, yeah, we 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 both have we've had police contact with Philly. Actually. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah police cops are Philly cops are kind of like. Lawless. Word. Also went by the nickname Fro, was routinely mocked in YBC Duel's music. And this was by no means the end of the violence surrounding YBC. On May 25th, around 7.30 p.m., police say an 18-year-old man named Nasir Marks was shot multiple times on the 3900 block of Poplar Street in the yeah, city's Mantua section. Right? His Word. family was making him shirts for his upcoming graduation when they got the phone call. His name is Nasir Marks. He's not just some 18-year-old black male that was shot. A, his name is not Sayer Marks. 30 minutes later, 32 shots were fired at a 15-year-old boy named Kanye Pittman on the 2500 block of North Sydenham Street. Oh Five gosh. shots struck him and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Reek 1200 from YBC bragged about the killing soon after in his songs. Don't get it twisted, bitch. I still pop right out there cut. He out of luck. Caught his ass up on that side. He should've ducked. We spin back to back. Bodies in one day. They know what's up. We get it done. Get that drop and drop his ass. This shit for fun. YBC oh Duel also repeatedly mocked the death of the 15-year-old calling him young bull from the back block. I wish I could say the reign of terror in Philadelphia was over. But on July 21st, 2021, 16 year old Kalen Johnson and 18 year old Tommy Frazier, also known as Snipe, were murdered in their vehicle while they were on their way to play basketball. Nah, what? what am I supposed to do when he calls the casket? I just want everybody to know my son was a good kid. Everyone loves him. Last week in August of 2024, Curry from the YBC slash YFA collective went to court for these murders and was found guilty. His defense oh. argued Curry became a victim of his surroundings after his family moved from Germantown to West Philadelphia, saying the murder of Curry's father and brother when he was a child left him traumatized. Still, the jury found him guilty Psycho. of the murders and sent him away for 42 and a half to 85 years. Oh my Curry God. is the fifth of five YBC Bang. members, which stands for Young Bag Chasers. The new name is You've Been Charged. Tommy Frank oh. ah. is another man you- Wow. That cop, that detective, whatever he is, the prosecutor, right, he's a gangster. Wow, that was wild. He changed that shit from YB, young, young black chasers. 
to. You've you been charged. charged. Oh my God. can hear YBC Duel persistently mocking in his songs. I was nice, smoke a snipe, got rolling, buddy, I'll just say. Smoke a little snipe, he got me higher than a motherfucking kite. All of these murders and disrespectful lyrics made the city hate YBC. And soon, all of the enemies they made would click up to form a supergroup called CCK. CCK mm. consists of campers, O to the four, clappers from 56th Street, and clappers with a K from 7th Street. But it wasn't just them. 39th Street clicked up with 44th Street because of the murders of Sid and Kanye Pittman, and because of the murder of Bud, they also had enemies on 59th Street, resulting in YBC being literally surrounded by ops all over oh the city. God. So far in the story, YBC was claiming responsibility for eight murders in 2021 alone. And it doesn't take a genius to imagine what happened to the young bag chasers between 2021 and now. J100, the founder of YBC, was shot and killed. Reek 1200 was arrested for two homicides, facing 35 years to life. F5 is serving a 12-year prison sentence. Curry is serving multiple life sentences. Da Fetty, YBC Duel's cousin, was shot and killed. 1K, Baby Wick, and Reek 1200 are all in jail on conspiracy to murder charges. Oh Near my Pablo god! They, so like, that's when they say like New York City solved because they're saying like other places, bro, people catch bodies. Like in New York City, they're saying that the drill scene is solved because not that many bodies drop. But if you look at Philly, yeah, Chicago. I guess, but you can't compare Apple to oranges. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to anybody, but like New York is very big. And also, there's more cops, These, more yeah, and, and, police force. And I'm not making no excuses because obviously we wouldn't want the violence. Yeah. I think Philly is maybe like a smaller circumference. Yeah, that makes sense too. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah, I, that's the only reasoning I could see behind it. But maybe that's not true. Maybe there is a lot of like crime going on, but it's just sad that like. But I know what they mean. Out of towners be like, oh, New York drills soft. Like they don't really do drills. Oh, like, yeah. A lot of Chicago niggas say that. Like rappers be saying that because they think that as more people, they probably think more shooting should happen. I don't know. You know I, what I mean, right? I, I think hip hop has a funny layer to it now because the rappers are actually the, the gangsters and yeah. the gangsters are really the rappers and then you have a sprinkle on top of dudes that are not doing any of it they're just trying to make money but they cap it on their rhymes mm, good point so it's like a weird dynamic now because when we had Nas and all that back in the days and I guess I don't know Big Daddy Kane or whoever they were just rapping about what was going on. Yeah. These people, like, I killed somebody on a song. They're like, I killed Joe Schmo every day. I'm smoking on Joe Schmo. Yeah, that shit crazy. And they actually, some of them, not all of them, I guess, or some are capping, but some really did it. It's just complicated. Got locked up less than a week ago for homicide. Yak Yola is on Philly's most wanted fugitive list. Money making oh TO was murdered. Baby Ka was shot and killed. Kier was gunned down. Peso is incarcerated. Fun? FS Debender is on house arrest. And one of the last remaining survivors of this war is none other than YBC Duel. In this episode, we visit 42nd, 43rd, and 39th Street, which is the epicenter of the Young Bag Chasers territory, as well as visit the hood of PB Rock, whose neighborhood clique is now tied in with YBC. So mm. come with me as we visit Philly's most hated rapper and experience firsthand. Life as Mr. Disrespectful. That was just the intro. Yeah. All right, to my left right now is the one with the YBC oh, duel. With him? Yeah, he put it on. Oh, I thought he was going to do like a coverage, like a story. Mr. Disrespectful, I'm going to fuck who you is. That was fire, right? Where are we at right Seriously. now? We in North Philly right now. How long have you lived in Philadelphia? All my life. I'm from North, but I clean West Philly, though. That's why I jumped off the perch at. Yeah, tell me about your name, Mr. Disrespectful. How'd you get that? YBC duel got his nickname from his fans calling him Mr. Disrespectful in various comment what? sections. Wow. Who, who's this guy, Brandon? Brandon Buckingham. Mr. Buckingham, thank you for doing professional work. Work. All right? You're transitioning, great transitions yeah. to studio, to explanation of what's going on. Not these dudes that are doing hood blogs with a camera. And, just and it's on. like a bunch of people walking around. Yeah, we go to the store here. We do this here. But you're actually breaking everything down. All right. Thank you, sir. Fans yeah. call me that, bro. My name YBC Duel, but the fans call me Mr. Disrespectful. What they be saying, like, I be trolling, I guess. But I do it to a certain extent. Like, I go overboard. I disrespect people, like, mm -hmm. badly. So what do you think some of the most disrespectful things you've done? Obviously, the one that comes to mind is, you know, the notorious, the grave digging situation. That's yeah. some new shit, though. Like, I've been drawn. Like, one of the most disrespectful drawn. things, though, when I said I was going to Draw me is like ODN. Like doing too much. That's okay, that's how you talk? Yeah, drawn. I've been drawn. Like, one of the most disrespectful John though, when I said I was gonna slap K3 mom, though. You wanna smack his mom? Yeah, cause she be dissing my homies. I don't know what she be on. She like an old, miserable mother. It may repulse you to hear Duel threaten to smack someone's mother, but everything comes back to the cycle of violence. K3 is Kaylin Johnson, who had allegedly been murdered by YBC. So after one of Duel's best friends, J100, was shot in the head during a music video shoot, K3's mother immediately took to her Instagram live to mock the passing of J100. 
Damn, they ain't telling the duck. Where's the call? This gotta be AI. The mom is dissing dead ops. This is bad. This is worse than FBG Duck's mom. At least FBG Duck's mom. She called for peace. Yeah. <laughs> she want the mom, violence. She 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 and she want the smoke too. She in that shit too. And I'm not here so to not glorify or cast yeah, judgment on anyone. Imagine it was your best friend or family member who was murdered. How would you treat those you felt were responsible? Do you feel yeah. like the the public like doesn't understand some of the you know dissing in the in the rap music? We diss differently. Like when you know what people be talking about, and you be like, damn, like he just said that in the song. Like that's how I got my name for real, for real. Because if you get in the detail about what I'm talking about, and it's like. Damn, he just said that. What made you want to get a shovel and go to the cemetery that day? It's just like you woke up and did it, or you know? No, it's crazy, bro. Cause when I went to the graveyard, I didn't even have no shovel. Like, Bash had the grave, met the John in the trunk. We had hurried up and drove to the graveyard real quick. We already shot the scene there, feel me? But once we shot, done shot, shot the scene, like it was a grave, it was a pile of dirt. And my man had the shovel, he popped the trunk and just threw me the shovel, and I just started drawing. But I'm hood hopping today. Damn, so that was a like random dude's. Like area, right? There's probably a dead body under there, maybe, or maybe not. But he, he's saying I, a random area that he just digged up. That's even worse, right? He said that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, it's just I'm at a loss for words. We have like a lot happening. Like we looking at it from the outside in, and this dude's looking at it from a little closer, but outside in. But think about all the little intricate connections and stories we don't even know, know about. about. That wasn't documented. We don't know the backdrop, who went to school, and who who was on the same AAU basketball team. Word. Who mother was grew up with this mother, now that sons are trying to kill each This is insanity, bro. Yeah, like 19 of his homies are either locked up or dead. Only 12 are home, maybe, and then now he's insane. down. Yeah, that's wild. He has nobody, like, yeah. really. Yeah, where are some places we're gonna go on this episode? We are gonna be in North, West, South Philly. I really run the streets. Like, I'm, I don't go to the studio and rap and shit. Like, I be outside, bro. That's what I do. But other rappers, though, like, from the city, on the stage where I'm at, like, they don't be here no more. People really think I be in other states. The whole time, I really be here. And what makes you want to stay in Philadelphia? My niggas here, like, I gotta chill with the guys. I can't bring everybody out, Kali. Do you ever see yourself, like, moving out of Philadelphia for good or not really? Yeah, well, I ain't staying here. This is a dumbass place to stay. <laughs> Who's some of the best rappers in Philadelphia? That didn't age well, right? Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, he didn't make it out. Fuck with Hood, Tylee, Leaf Warrior High, Hop Out, Blick, Skrilla, FS The Bender. But that's really it. Yeah, Philadelphia, the hip-hop scene seems like it's having a big wave right now. I don't know why we never got our recognition until the drill scene came about. Y'all think it's a games? <laughs> that's how we coming. We oh. in the churches, like, we in Philly. I'm outside. And besides that, they also got uh, a nah, different type of dogs on them. <laughs> Just to clarify, those are legal firearms. Legally obtained, legally owned firearms. Illegal firearms. Illegal, 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 illegal. <laughs> disrespectful, disrespectful. That's why would you say that? Bad, bro. <laughs> no, they came first with the mixed with Pitbull. You wasn't like a no, like, you ain't never playing no movie or nothing. You look he like Napoleon Dynamite. He looked like somebody. Napoleon Dynamite. I'm telling <laughs> you, like you played off a and movie no, or something, like probably like <laughs> 2000 or something, like 2000s. I saw a documentary about you that said you're the most hated rapper in Philadelphia. Is that cap? You know that ain't no fucking bluff. Does that make you upset at all, or you don't care? I like that shit. They hate me. That mean they like me, or they do so. Like feel me, like they you're paying attention. Feel something. They, yeah, they paying attention, and I make them feel some type of way. So if I can make you feel some type of way, I'm gonna keep. Making you feel some type of way. Bro, all the real niggas fuck with me. What Lil Dirk say at this uh, at the end of that song? Like, real niggas fuck with me. Like, the street niggas can vouch for me. Anywhere I go, nobody don't play with me. I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. This, there's a certain oh artist in the God. city. Oh, this video's not aging well, bro. Yeah. He said yet. And, like, he kind of knew it was going to happen one day, right? Or there's a possibility. He's he understands. Not, it's not aging well because... <sighs> I think the best way to say it is... Most of the rappers, and no matter what city, because this yeah. is going on in the whole country, this Word. is going on in, we covered a lot of European hip London. hop drill in London, and a lot of the rappers, I would say like 75 to 80%, maybe 90% of them that talk that, that devil killing, robbing, stealing, I'm on demon time, Word. they end up Get they, they end up dead or in jail. For the most part. Yeah. Like 90%, right? Like, I would say like 90%. Word. 90% because all the New York Joe rappers are dead or in jail. Well, most of them are in jail, though. Most of them are in jail. They get booked. Because that's the thing about New York City. Like, but, you get but, booked. But that was an initiative by the city, the mayor of New York City. Yeah. Where it was, I don't know if it was, that. not this summer, not last summer. It was summer before. Yeah. It was a hot summer. It was a lot of, lot of action, a lot of gunplay, little kids getting shot in the park. 
and the mayor made an initiative, and he locked all of them up. Yeah. It's like two left. Yeah. They're, and one just came home. On Rockers Island, they could do a Rolling Loud in New York City. Like, literally. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, they're all locked up. Maybe over 20. Yeah. I'm not even playing. Robbed, all of them. Touch shot at in the city. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a certain artist in the city, very popular right now, OT7 Kwani. We What's your perspective on him, bro? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Cuz be doing bitch ass shit, bro. I ain't beefing with them niggas or nothing. Like I've heard on the YouTube side of things, he scammed a YouTuber named Roud Rod for like G. three, four thousand dollars. Ride from the city though, like it'd have been different, like if he did that shit to an uh, outsider. But I don't really got too much to speak about on Cuz. Switch the topic. We just took a drink yesterday. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> we just took a nigga drink. <laughs> and he ain't got gun butted with it. You don't feel weird speaking about when that? Person gets what? Oh, gun butt? Oh uh, yeah, gun butt. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like Call of Duty shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> do this shit. What was Duel like as a kid? Bad as your most. Like, in the streets type shit. What's my nickname? His name Duck. Duck Why Duck Diddle? Why that? <laughs> well, that's nick, I was about to say, when we was growing up. His name was Duck. Yeah, what has it been like for y'all watching YBC Duel, you know, kind of rise through the ranks of the music industry? His first ever song, he dropped the video, came home, he was whamming. Did it happen pretty quick? Bro, that shit happened quick, like a year. Bro, like, I ran laps on niggas, bro. I probably got like 40 million streams yeah. right now. Can you give me the Lord? Nah, yeah, I definitely uh, heard of YB. I never got into him, but I heard about him. Like, he collabed with a lot of out of towners. I noticed that the most hated dudes, they be collabing with dudes like out of town. Like, 2-2-G's does that from Brooklyn. Like, YBC do it. Like, dudes like that, they collab with niggas out of town because they don't have. about that kid. Two, two, he's G's out the way? Yeah. But he's he, all the way out the way? Yeah, he in Atlanta, I think, or some shit. Nuggets and McButtons. Just like Sonny brought me down to Kuru the walk and all that job and left his face red like he rhymes. I just fuck with McDonald's. The reason why BC Duel constantly mentions McDonald's is because a man named Booga, who is the brother of one of his enemies, Sonny Goon, was gunned down while working his job at McDonald's. Duel has gone on to drop two songs as well as his own weed strain, mocking the passing of Booga. Look at this car right now. Yo, what's going on with this? Damn, that's a oh, look at that. Damn. Melted your car. Good thing she got in parking spot. Matter of <laughs> fact, you can't park here. <laughs> Listen, we in the bitty, feel me? We with Brandon Buckingham, Taj Gotti on the year, feel me? What's your gram? Blueface 42. You want riding in the striker with us? Yeah, let's go. We're in the whip right now. Is this a fishbowl? You're a wild boy in the hood. No. <laughs> He's wild. It's a striker. What is the definition of a striker? That's and I'm thinking like, yo, like, he just passed away, right? He could have been in the car when he got shot. But I think what happened was, now I'm looking at this video and I'm like, not for nothing, the ops probably saw he got a lot of views on this video. Do you think it escalated it? Yeah, like they were like, oh, he took a hot like this on getting hella views. And the next yeah. day he ended up getting killed. That's what I think what happened. Like he was talking dumb hot. It got a lot of attraction. Well, I didn't, this, I, that might be, you could be right, you could be wrong. But I know one thing, that's, this didn't help. Yeah, like this video didn't help because maybe he would have survived. I know Brandon Buckingham thinking that about that. That's or what? Mm-mm. Why do they call it a striker? Because we have no striking shit like bowling pins, we riding the strikes. He's no people got that away, right? Yeah. Rest in peace. Like I'm one of the niggas that carry it for they block though. Like feel me, all the all the niggas that's from PNB, like they fuck with YBC do it. Like yeah, I guess yeah. you were pretty upset when that shit happened to PNB, right? The whole city was. That was crazy. But they don't understand the Kali politics though. It ain't. It just was like the wrong place at the Kali. wrong time. Like oh, we on past 30th Street right now. We on past 30th uh, and Ben. Yeah. We in PNB. This PNB Rock block though. Like this where PNB oh, wow. Rock from. Like next we visit the hood where PNB Rock was born and raised. For those oh, that sure. didn't know, PNB Rock was in and out of jail as a juvenile and ultimately served two years in prison at the age of 19. After struggling with homelessness, he ended up focusing on music in 2014, signing a deal with Atlanta Records in 2015, and dropping the song Selfish in 2016 that landed on the Billboard. And as the song was going triple platinum, unfortunately, this is the same year his brother PNB Steph was shot and killed near their home on the 1600 block of Baton Street. But this didn't stop PNB Rock's meteoric rise to fame as he dropped two albums and one mixtape between 2017 and 2019 that all charted on the Billboard 200s. The following year, in 2020, he was featured on Ed Sheeran's song Cross Me with Chance the Rapper, that was also a worldwide hit. And despite being the odds going. Wow. Um, fun fact, because we cover hip hop from all over the world. It's like my 10th time saying in this video. You're gonna wheel it back just a little bit. Ed Sheeran, the singer, was actually a drill rapper. From the UK, where? From the UK. And he hung out with a lot of the black UK rappers. <laughs> That's crazy. Slept on his sofa, and then when he blew up, he forgot about all of them, and they all, <laughs> and they all mad at him. They come out videos dissing him. Pictures with him drill rapping. 2017 and 2019 that all charted on the Billboard 200s. The following year in 2020, he was featured on Ed Sheeran's song Cross Me with Chance Crazy, the Rapper that was also a worldwide hit. And despite beating the odds, going gold or platinum 17 times over and making it out of the deadly Philly streets, PNB Rock tragically lost his life in 2022 on the other side of the country. On September 12th, shortly after PNB Rock's girlfriend posted this Instagram story, a 
19 year old and his father robbed him and shot him twice in the back the and once father, in the chest bro. as he was eating at yeah, Roscoe's and the house. Father of, on the son? I don't know. I wonder what happened. Well, that was uh, somebody else. But the son was a minor, so the dad's going to get in trouble. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, that was another story. K-Cell else. from Jacksonville, Young and Ace Peoples. Yeah, yeah. The yep. dad snitched on the son? Yeah. It was conspiracy. They both had conspiracy. He had conspiracy. I don't already. think about the snitch. I don't think I can snitch on you. Mm. I think like I already lived my life. I'll just eat it. I did it. Yeah, right. I think, right? What do you I mean, say? what would you guys say in the comments? <laughs> you, you're the dad. You snitching on your son? Or you just gonna eat it for your son? Mm. Chicken and waffles in South Los Angeles. Tragically, he passed away on the scene. This story paints a sad reality of rappers overcoming their circumstances, but still never really being safe, no matter where they are in America. Everybody call me Nah or yeah. Nuff. You feel me? <laughs> feel me? We got that. Everybody got that shit. Tatted, P and B, New Lane. What is P and B? I know that was a gang. 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 Whoa! Oh, he got pulled on him. Oh my God. Man, that's brutal. Man, shot in my hand, like all that shit. Yeah, there, right? bro, I learned how to walk again. You heard me? How does it feel to get shot? What is the sensation? That shit burn. Don't ask nobody how that shit feel. You don't want to feel that shit. That's one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Germantown. You feel me? So yeah, how much does like uh, P and B and that whole movement mean to this block? A lot. It's a lot of niggas from P and B. It's probably sixty niggas. You feel me? Doesn't P and B Rock have songs with like Justin Bieber and shit? Yeah, Rock. He got songs with Ed Sheeran. He got songs with a lot of niggas. That's like it doesn't I got get probably two hundred. I got probably two hundred unreleased. Songs on rocks, bro. Was a and it's crazy because you can't save everybody, right? Like, look at all his homies still in the hood. Like, yeah, he in the hood, hood. He got that the pole. pole on him. He got the skull. He look like him too. He look like him. Think about the stories he ain't even sharing. Right. Keep I, mean, I don't think cheap. nobody did it like, bro. Like, yeah. what? What How you about related to P and B? No, we 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 blood then. We tied then. You feel me? I knew Rock since I was five, six. Like, we all grew up in the same household type of shit. Fuff, that's Rock, brother. Steph died right here. That's Rock. Tino died on that side right there. You feel me? <laughs> no, y'all cool. I ain't saying gonna do nothing. Do you have any uh fun memories of P and B Rock growing up? Just yeah, like, yeah, nigga, I grew up with him my whole life. That's my dog, bro. Bro used to do some burnt out shit. The shit you would see a regular nigga do, Rock would do that shit. Rock. Rob a nigga and give it to me like, hun, bro, I don't even want this shit, bro. You want PS5? Oh, I'll tell you, I got an iPad for you, bro. Like, I'm a little bro, you feel me? So he would just do it for the sport of it. Yeah, bro. I used to watch Rock. Used to take a nigga down, come right to my grandma crib. Hey, yo, I got this for you. Smoking gunna, <laughs> babe. I'm smoking gunna. I'm a pass by bed gunna. Gunna's a rapper? No, Dog, gunna. Look him up. Look you up. He died. Oh, Look gunna. He died eating Doritos. <laughs> I love Doritos. <laughs> don't eat them in the car. Fucking like that. That shit is um, haunted. Make sure y'all tooted the hop out blick. Yeah, free hop out blick. I don't know blick. how I forget hop out blick. Free hop out blick. Yeah, if blick was here, y'all would be recording blick and not do. Hop out blick is from PNB, aka the Tortures. He began his music career like in that? Not do. He kind of like do as a guy. YBC do. That's wild. Why? Maybe because he was a ticket. Like you know, how some niggas be the ticket. Like they were gonna make it out. I, I, I don't. At this point, I don't know what's going on. He yeah. There's a lot, a lot of layers to this. I mean, shit, there's a lot of shit going on in this. 2021, and even made some music with YBC Duel. In April 2023, around 3:30 p.m., Hop Out Blick was allegedly involved in the murder of three teenagers and oh a robbery gone wrong. Soon after, Hop Out Blick released the song "Take a Risk," where he rapped about the murders explicitly that he would soon be accused of committing. And it wouldn't take long for police officers to pick up on the alleged self-snitching, and Hop Out Blick was arrested only a few months after. I don't think this shit never gonna stop, bro. I can say this because I'm white and black, you hear me? <laughs> now, it used to be like a lot of niggas, but now it's like white people moving around here, so it's getting better of a neighborhood type shit, you feel me? They building new cribs type That's shit. That's wild. Look at that nigga's yeah, apartment. This shit probably $3,000 a month, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. For sure. Right by the hood. That's weird as hell. Wow. And like, yeah, we got a lot of poppy stories, but we share a lot of stories with the ops. We try to stay he our shit in the hood. Get some of the best food here. Let's get some. So we're really in the hood, and they got they got a touch screen and all touch kind of the different food they, selections. They get money. He get money. He fuck around sell bricks. <laughs> What's up, bae? Yo, they said I'm the most hated rapper in the city, right? Like when Quilly said feet on land, like I'm feet on the land. Like my feet is on the earth. Who that? They busting the Yui too. I feel like half your ops aren't outside. They're, they're in a virtual reality. None of my fucking. How do you do a hood like now? He died at 3.34 in the morning. I read the, the, um, the documents, right? YBC Duel died at 3.34 and said in the morning, in the afternoon. How do you even do a hood vlog nowadays? Like, Brandon Buckingham's like, you know what? I, like, do I really want to go to the hood Yeah, now? I think uh, Brandon Buckingham, I'm pretty sure you're going to see this. I don't think this is this is, this is is not a good idea. It's detrimental to your health, to your life, because these guys are real gangsters. Like, everybody you see there, like, they're not playing gangster. Like, these guys live this life, and 
people keep going in the hood and we've considered it. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. anybody's hood to interview anybody. We believe you, yo. We believe you. you know what I'm saying? And these dudes, and he's doing it to make $5,000 or something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Is that you have to start measuring everything in life, like, you know. And I, I almost find that, like, it's a little bit of, like, he's using people. I don't think he's using people. I think he has a platform and he's putting other people on. Because think about it like this, all right? This, I'm, let me play devil's advocate. This YBC dude, a lot of people probably never saw this video if Brandon Buckingham didn't put him on. You know what I'm saying? Like I get it. I'm, a, I'm talking shit. We might be in the hood. We might interview. We might do hood vlogs. We might you know, interview the same dude, but if we ain't walking, I ain't. Me, uh, yeah, I'm not walking around. We doing like we'll meet you like an apartment. We'll interview you. You talk about your story, and then we'll we'll use the Google Maps to explain shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be walking. Keep walking around with him. I'm not doing. You don't know better. Yeah. Like you don't know. I'm sorry, Brandon Buckingham, bro. I wish you, you would. Go, I wish he would go try to walk around, try to do a vlog with like a low ski to Reaper or one mirror, bro. We're going to flame that jaw, bro. You catch me in the crossfire if it, if it comes down to it? You got to get that drop up. Say nah. You my man, bro. We chilling, though, bro. We ain't on that, though. I don't even eat, bro. I get high. I pop perks and sit lean and shit. Explorer's Den pizza. Honestly delicious. About to take a bite of this sub right quick. Come on, cheese steak, bro. Not a sub. That's what Philly's known for, right? Mm -hmm. Hammer. Say hammer. This shit is screwdriver. This shit is wrench. <laughs> wrench? No, it's hammer. All right, so we just got a, a little sneak peek into the, the P and B hood out here. I got my nigga Brandon. We brought the guys out. This is one of the best interviews. You feel me? See how we talk? We've been walking around all day, right? Now, once it get time to walk into the war zone, niggas don't want to come no more. You see, niggas got shit to do now and all that. They don't want to come to the war zone. Oh. When it when it's time to go to my hood, niggas don't want to go to the war. Niggas don't want to come to the war zone. I'm about to, look, look, look. I'm about to go put my feet on west. land. Those were Really brushing his teeth right here, bro. Why don't you brush your teeth at the start of the interview? Why, why midway through? Wait, wait so they're in north right now, I believe, right? Because Germantown's north. I kind of know Philly a little bit, you know what I mean? I know my shit. Germantown's north, right? But how far is north from west? Like, isn't is west like it's like going to like Queens and you in the Bronx? Like, how does that work? Yeah, like how many square miles is Philly? Yeah, like how big is it? Like, I don't People know. You're gonna be yellow and shit. I drunk. Damn, you ain't never brush your teeth like that ever in your life. I'm doing this shit right now on the block. I got a, I got a car tube brush. You don't got no car tube brush. I love him flexing his oral hygiene. You never see nobody brush their teeth like this. I'm outside in the trenches. Niggas be having yuck mouth outside. Bro. All the niggas face your birth be twanging. Get off my mid. Do you funny as hell. Give us the rundown. Where we are right now? You say twanging. I never heard that one. <laughs> Yeah, and now funny. we on 42nd and Parkside. This is my block. Look at that this shit. Die fed that shit is right. RP die. Like, we used to slap yeah. box all back here. All what? we do is slap, Port like, this the slap box joint right here. Yeah, Philly remind me a lot of the... I grew up in the South Bronx, which is... We gentrify now. You go and there's people from all over. Yeah. Different ethnicities. And it was, like, burnt down. Like, you would have a house abandoned and a house... People living in it. Then a building abandoned and a building, two buildings... People living in it, yeah. three buildings abandoned. Philly's like that today in 2024. <laughs> it's like the Bronx back in the days. That shit is the trenches, bro. Yeah. Here, like, if you step yeah. right here, you got slap box. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This shit is a bandit, bro. Yeah. This is a bandit. Yeah. Not even yeah. houses yeah. wise. I'm yeah. saying like people being out here wise, like look at that. Yeah, like yeah, look at that house right there with the with the the lime green and the yeah. brick. Look, glass is broken, all that. Oh my like God. niggas still liable to stay there. You know, would you it's say crazy. that uh, YB? Like it's cool that he doing it, that he doing the Brandon is doing this, but I don't think he understands that the I'm gonna keep saying it like right. the way the hood works. Like shit could go left for him real quick. He doesn't know the yeah. I don't and I, you can't run away. There's no way to run when the bullets are flying. It could just it, it just everything could turn, they take the camera, they just strip them, leave them buttons. Yeah, the, like shit like the hood is a lot there's a lot of moving parts to the hood. And I'm not saying these dudes will do it. Yeah. I'm just saying like his I have seen people be come outsiders coming to the hood and everything seems cool and then Everything switches. switches. Yeah, it switches. For many different reasons, but I don't think he's aware. BC is from West Philly? Yeah. YBC is the bottom. He's done so many, bro. Yeah, this guy's been doing it for a while. In the mix, but majority, 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 like, YBC originated from West. And everybody in YBC, like, we somebody, like, big brother or something that's in, like, YFA. Like, it's two groups. It's YBC and YFA. That's the younger version of us. Damn, look at that one. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, this was our bando. Yeah, we used to be in here. This our bando for sure. We still get in there? I'm thinking this shit was still like this. But in this this door right here. It just was open. Will Smith on these Jones right here. 
Wait, Will oh, Smith sure. owns them? Yeah, yeah he's from West Philadelphia. Yeah. Will Smith from went to oh went to Overbrook High School. He went to my school, West Philadelphia, born and yeah. raised. Yeah. Oh, shit. My day. Yeah, he not lying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that was. They wrote, every time somebody yeah, makes Will Smith can't go to the hood and, and help it out. What the fuck, bro? He probably does give backs every year and shit. Uh I'm sure. Yeah, he definitely does. I'm sure. I'm sure he's. When they sure. windows up, I don't like when they do shit you like that. Like they be putting yeah. cars in and shit. I'm gonna start shooting people that do that. So does the prospect of possibly getting shot just walking around make you nervous at all? Or I mean, what's your thoughts on it? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You should be nervous though, bro. Cause <laughs> walking with me a bad job. But so called niggas be on my ass though, so that'd be a bad job. We just we just having a cool collected day. We don't feel like you shooting people out with hell, and man. shootouts and none of that. We just chilling. Y'all can do that when. When I'm back home, safe. Do so you feel like you have a lot of on-site situations in the city? It is no talking. It's on-site every time. It's funny. I just jammed a nigga on this block the other day. We really killed a lot of niggas, though. Like, niggas is not here no that. more, bro. The hood. I just right. jammed a What does that mean, jam a nigga? Don't tell me he said I just shot a nigga the other day. He's coming in face, but still, like, that's so deep. We really killed a lot of niggas though. Like niggas is not here no more, bro. Yeah. The hood. We'll go with that. Let's go so you say you tortured the whole block? We tortured the whole hood though. Like nobody don't come outside around her. You, we, we walking through blocks. You don't see nobody. Shit, torture. This is a ghost town. Right. Like <laughs> sad at all to be like, yo, no one's outside. We fucked the whole place up. I wish it ain't like, I, bro. I swear, I'm, I put this on my mom. Like if I could trade and turn like all this shit back. Be something else or like, feel me, bro? I wish I had my niggas, bro. Don't go fuck about doing this shit right here, bro. Oh, what up, bro? I just do this shit now because it's like, if I don't do this shit, bro, I'm gonna be a nut ass nigga if I don't make it out the hood. Like, if I don't get successful, bro, and get rich, bro, I'm gonna feel like I'm a nut ass nigga and I'm gonna feel like I fell, all my homies. Look, this shit a desert town, ghost town, bro. Nobody outside. We fucked the hood up. Like, when you went to down Kenneton, how the whole, like, everywhere outside, bro, bro, it's not like you gonna get shot down here, bro. Like, with that shit I be talking about in my reps, bro, that shit real. Go listen to it. Everybody getting shot. Mom, dad, sisters, brothers. Ops, we proving a point. If I stop rapping a day or tomorrow, I can put a thousand pounds on this block. On my mom. On my mom. You see, I ain't gonna lie. We, we ain't Anybody know what niggas on, on, feel me? They know what we on, feel me? Oh my God. Young bag chasing. Look, where are the cops at? You don't see no cops passing by. It's like a ghost town, literally. Because the cops don't care. They're like, yeah, they're gonna kill each other. Let them kill each other. Yeah. Okay. War zone. A lot of niggas got overcooked. Yeah, what's the difference between getting overcooked and getting undercooked in the streets? You had a nigga three times, he undercooked. If a nigga get hit with eight or more, he overcooked. It depends where you hit him at. I ain't get hit yet. When you say hit, do you mean hit by gun bullet? Yeah, got by gun bullet. You never been hit? Yeah, I ain't get hit yet. And how many times you been doing the hit? We been doing this shit for a long time now. <laughs> more than ten? Ten niggas posted up, I hop out, switch the crowd. All them niggas running with they hot stand shoot back like where y'all glizzy now. I lost Josh to the streets, bro. I got a video of Josh right now. He's saying when you come to my crib, throw some rocks at my back window. Like that's our first loss. That's our first YBC loss. Oh, he pissing right here, but look, right here. This is crib. It's Josh crib right here. He passed? Yeah, he passed away. I got him tatted on my face. Right here. For Josh too. Like all my homies book, bro. Like none of my niggas out here. Pay so <laughs> it's getting dark and he's still on. <laughs> he's walking. Trying to go at the 4 p.m. Zon, like nobody home. Band up guys. But like, it ain't nobody home. Zeke. It's the best block, bro. The poppy store. We got the poppies. We on 43rd and Wallusen right now. All my niggas book. Free Zeke too. Free Zeke the Reaper, bro. This this twin block. Gunshot right there. You know what it is. That's, don't you know how I just was telling you about Josh, right? I was right here tagging up. Josh was supposed to come meet me. No bullshit. I was tagging weed. I was supposed to go meet him at the corner of the block. All I heard is gunshots. Boom, 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 boom. I'm hearing gunshots right now. Bro, that shit regular, but all I hear <coughs> is gunshots. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, my man, band up y'all's coming around the corner. He said, bro, Josh, bro, I just broke down crying. I'm like, damn, bro. Sorry to hear that. Rest in peace. Our ops block right here, bro. On my soul, on J Soul. They from Bell My Ave. They crib right there, bro. That they begin clapped on that Q Rizzy and all them niggas, them niggas from right there, bro. The nigga that's in the car over there right now, my man Waters clapped him. He told him he can't bust no traps. Bro, only reason why he parked out here cause Waters not out here right now, bro. Well all he, bro. Oh, so it's like a Who this nigga look He know what bro, niggas know what's up, bro. My man shot him. So he probably really hates you, yeah? Bro, it's Mr. Disrespectful. Nah, like, that guy gotta be a civ, right? There's no way he's tolerating that disrespect. Or maybe you never knew that dude might have swung back the next day. Because he just said... Yeah, like, like I said 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, there's so many layers. Yeah. And one thing I learned about a lot of this, 
when you speculate, you always be wrong. Not a word. You don't know who did what. There's so many reasons. Sometimes it'd be internal. Sometimes it'd be the ops. Uh-huh. Sometimes it could be someone new. It could be someone, some, something happened that your man had beef and you're affiliated. It's so many layers to it, bro. Because the way he was saying, like, that dude probably just traps. He's not really a street, street nigga. Like, a real, like, you know what I mean? Gunner shit down. Well, he knows that something went, his boy had beef with the guy. Yeah, over trapping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or whatever, yeah. or whatever the case. So he's just saying, like, he know blah, blah, blah. He know better type shit. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> He know what, bro, niggas know what's up, bro. My man shot him. <laughs> you see that? Bro, it's Mr. Disrespectful. Like, you think this shit a game? He pulled off, right? Or am I wrong? No, he did pull off. Oh, all right. We outside, bro. bro. Right. Several, <laughs> yourself, home, bro. Look at the old folk. They all, you know, we, we rolling. We rolling right now. Talk to your fans. This is Philly. Welcome to Philly, y'all. Yeah. Come check us out. There's a lot of good things happening in Philly. Yeah. I'm going to show you shooting a lot right over there. Yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, there's a lot of that goes on around here. We have heard. They don't drop that. The yeah, they're, 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 they're shooting a gun very close, like a block away. Repeatedly. Go home. We've like 30 dark. gunshots in the past two minutes. Literally, there must be a battle going on somewhere near here. A battle? I'm trying to get away from all <laughs> this. There's a battle going on. Fuck off. This is what happens when you let. These type of guys, I'm not gonna say what type, but these type of guys in the hood. There's a battle going on, it's a game. It's not a game, game. This is Yo, my a man war. said there's some kind of battle going on. Yo, don't show this video. Y'all too, don't show this video to your parents. Because y'all ain't never going outside again. All that. Yo, we're driving towards the gunshots. Why? Yo, we're, what are we doing right now? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> well, I know the, when on the last time I've been in this park, where Bud died? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't want to be in a park. It's too empty. It's too dark. Like, why are they there at night <laughs> with a camera and the light shining and look at me? In an open Let me court. glow. Let me just glow so the ops could see Where I'm the at. person they have beef with and I could just be an innocent Washington. casualty. Oh my god. This is nice. And of course, you can't hide those ever nasty since then, bro. No bullshit. Bro, that was my right hand man, bro. This J100 block right here. Like, this. Where J100 to be at right now? This J100 block. Put your put, put my put your burn up. Put that burn up, bro. Like, come here, to it. Come here, to it. Now my twin got stories to tell. We got. Black, though, like, a lot of we took a right picture here, with no baby mom bitch ass right here. I'm mad as shit. Shouldn't have been ever been in that fucking picture. That nigga fucking. Bro, we. Don't come to the crib, bro, stop telling me shit I know. Like who are you talking to, bro? Chill. This is where the dice games take place at. We fucked the hood up. It ain't no more dice games. No, it ain't no block you could go on down here and people outside. We fucked the blocks up. You ever think maybe when you get older, you're gonna turn a new leaf and you're gonna wanna make like the block better and make the hoods better? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm gonna try my hardest. Like shit like this, lots and shit. Like I'm gonna try to build shelters. Like I'm gonna try to feed, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back to the hood, bro. What's the game plan? You're gonna fuck it up first and then make it better? I mean, bro, <laughs> that wasn't the game plan to fuck it up. We fucked it up already, like, feel me? Like, the goal to get rich, feel me? But some shit came in the midst to get rich. Free 12, fuck 12. Free 12, fuck 12. Free 12, fuck 12. Crazy. Fuck the cops. Oh, they don't respect they're no downtown. fucking... They're they're look like I respect now. the cops. Mr. Disrespectful. That who that right there why, looking at me? Why do they call you Mr. Disrespectful? Because okay, I don't then. give a fuck who you is. I will disrespect you. That's why they call me that. I'm outside right now. It'd be yeah. weird because I'd be like, yo, he, when I saw like how old was he? He was 25. So like, I know this sounds crazy, but he lasted a long time. Like, yeah, 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 he stayed yeah. out the way or I don't know, maybe because he's the rapper and they try to protect yeah, him. Yeah, generally these guys don't really last. When you're in that gangster realm, you don't really get in 21. your mid-20s and stuff. It's because it's a lot of violence. Everybody put it in work. Most disrespectful rapper in America. And we on feet on land. Block, feet Night on time. land. They outside. in the comments on no jumper till my man don't be outside. My man outside every day. I all up, day. <laughs> I pulled up at 2 p.m. It's almost midnight. Brandon, you feel you good? Right? Nine, you come stay, right? I feel good at feel comfortable, right? I feel safe. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to my man. Y'all know nope. that. The biggest save. Y'all know what the fuck one of this shit. Stint and all that. Like the biggest. Big shit. What you do? Like, what a bitch want to Miss, welcome down. Miss, welcome down. Miss, welcome down. Girl gangsters, too. Yeah, that's crazy. We got, we got a special guest right here. Oh, we got a special guest, too. No, Talk to him. This is Nick Shirley from Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. The Latter day Saints, the, the, the Mormons. You ever heard of the Mormons? Yeah. He's a Mormon. He's a Latter day Saint. Oh, probably that's, shit, Nick. That's oh. me. That's me. This man out here in the Asics. No. Wild. Nick looked wild, uncomfortable. He was like, yeah, from Salt Lake City. Nick was like, and he's in shock he's there right he's like oh wow man why are you telling this guy i believe in a whole nother planet with a 
Super hero that lives on it. They believe he he shit. Got a dick on the block, middle of the trenches, oh, like never out on the block. my man never was on the His block. Like this is the first Mormon, the first Church of Latter Day Saint member ever to be out here in Philly like this, just like that, just, Vic, like, that. just like that. And he so feet on land. Feet, look at his sneaks though. He he on the land, like on the land. And he got his New Balance, so you know he's ready to get <laughs> back. He said, "Yeah, I got to wear my sneaks out there." I might got run. He's oh my God, run. Oh my God, run. I need my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely thought that shit. God, bro. Yeah, that's why nothing that's why will he happen to him. God you know loves never, that's why nothing will happen to him. You know why? Because he's protected right? by his God. He's never smoked. He, he, does, he doesn't drink, right? He's waiting till marriage to fornicate. He's oh. A, he's a real man of God, I'm saying. Nick, right? yeah, pause, pause. Nick. That's why I got to keep <laughs> Nick, you're going to be so embarrassed when you're 50 years old. Watching this shit. You're going to be like, what the was I thinking? What? I didn't even understand. He's shitting his pants knowing that he died. And, and you probably, yeah, now that you probably know that one, one of these gentlemen in this video died, one of these guys actually passed away Couple from hours gun later. violence. You're like, what the fuck was yeah. I doing? You might have my arm around him. That's why I'm staying like this all night. Because I know I'm with him. Ain't nothing happening. You feel me? Since you've been in Philly, like, how was it? Like, how, what's your experience? You like it? You like it? I, I like it. The, I love it. It's a different lifestyle. How you feel with the Mr. Disrespectful? I feel a little nervous at times. He's a little disrespectful. <laughs> he disrespectful, but he, he, to he, certain he, people. He treat me nice. Yeah, he treat you good. You feel me? As long as you with us, we cool. He took care of me. I heard about 30 gunshots this yeah. evening. He heard about 30. We just heard about 25. Ain't nothing. This is every day. Us boys from Salt Lake City ain't no different than the boys from Philadelphia. We all trying to get that money. We trying to get that money. We about to go bowling in Philadelphia with the one and only YBC Doom. That's what I want to do. I want to take rappers and take them to do like... Activities, that's fun. You wanna go on Let's a date? You wanna go on a date? Pause. With pause, yo. Chill. We're not doing that. Yeah. Bowling with a, I'm not, not bowling. We're not going on a soft I, date. I didn't say that. I said a We're team. not gonna go on a meet and greet soft date like an uh, icebreaker shit. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like a blind date. Like, what that look like? But, <laughs> say no stupid shit like that in front of the camera. I don't want to go bowling with rap. No, I just said it's an activity, bro. Hey, I want an icebreaker. It's like midnight. It's 12 away. It's past midnight. Yeah, baby! Ah! Hey! Fuck, bro. That was mad. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a fucking bucket! Oh, fuck y'all talking about? That's that a bucket! Hard. We dropping buckets! <laughs> Just finished bowling, about to go to the studio right now. Go to the studio, you feel me? He really, I want to like 24 hours. studio about to cook up a hot track with the Mr. Disrespectful himself. You know what the fuck is going on? Big C, Big C. He's big on varsity, I'm on JV, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to step no, my you game. Not, you didn't even make JV yet, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a <laughs> freshman. Yeah, you a freshman. We we'll don't need raw footage of him recording. All right, let's get it. My man, man <laughs> Reciproline, he's he got tired of it, right? Yeah. That's how I rip. I punch in one by one. Hell yes. <laughs> Me and Duel are cooking up right now. I just, I just, I just kicked the okay verse, right? A decent verse. No, you laid that shit down. Turn you, you want in? And, and, and now Duel's about to pop off, and we might fuck around, and, and, make a music and. video, and drop this for y'all for real. Get that money. To buy a dozen Percocet, I'm trying to catch a buzz. Will you tell me isn't working yet? I'm it's certain. Oxy's, triple C's, or Roxy's from pharmacies, I'm still in. Yeah, there really ain't no stopping me. While we were trying to film the music video for the song, my priest became a part of a crime scene. What we was doing? What we was doing? We were trying to do a video, and the next thing I know, 30 shots rang out. That's a gun? Bring my man over. Bring my man they over. They were a nice diner. Yo, yeah. go home. home. <laughs> Yo, he's asking crazy. for it. I'm not gonna lie. Two different situations where he, he heard gunshots, he say, and he won't go home. Like, Brandon, go home, dude. YBC I eat ass. I thought your name stood for yeah, young, young Brother Cheesecake. I mean, YBC stand for Young Booty Champion. Young Booty Clevers. No Diddy. Where do you think I'm going to be in five man. years, bro? I'm going to be somewhere where my feet kicked up with a bad bitch. So what are some bars that you think are hard that you've written in the past? I said, my bitch bad, she come through like O2 Stacy Dash. We done overcooked your man and wrapped him up in extra glad. Popping all that gangsta shit and tell, don't go out like your head. How the fuck bus a 20 play? I'm in another state. Stuffing shit in canned goods and send them out in fucking crates. The perky's got me up, I'm leaning off the fucking drink. If I catch him with them glasses, I'm gonna take him off his fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> That's bars, My though. guy. That's bars, though. <laughs> this has been an episode with the most disrespectful really rapper in the world. <laughs> Bro, he was really hanging out with YBC Duel, man. I feel bad, man. Like, you can tell YBC Duel's a good guy. He just, like, he, he has stuff. ops and, like, you know. He was just that lifestyle. That yeah. was the lifestyle. Man. Damn, that's sad, man. Recipe. Yeah, yeah. Jerry TV. We out of here. Peace.
And I know how it gets, so I got to stay low and I move my knot. I don't trust no nigga, I don't trust no man, ain't no friends, everybody get shot. You never know how nigga gon' throw, I'm hitting the floor with a couple of shots. You better move, you better duck, either way to the go, you get got.